Thanks for clicking on the webcast. I'm Laura Queso. Here's the latest from WENY HD News and the Star Gazette. The number one meth producing county in New York State is right here. It's Shimon County. And now the Golden Glow Volunteer Fire Company and the Shimon County Sheriff's Office are teaming up to change that. Captain Holly says it'll take community support to stop the growing trend. He says common signs of meth production include large amounts of cold tablet containers and unusual odors like ammonia, even acetone. Now, just to put the problem into perspective for you, last month this man was arrested for manufacturing meth at a home on Walnut Street in Elmira. Weeks earlier, two people, including this man, arrested at a home on Pennsylvania Ave in Southport for meth making. And the same week, three Gillette residents were arrested for a mobile meth lab. All of those people are now behind bars. Uh, we had a meth lab two streets away uh, a couple months ago uh, that was uncovered and the Sheriff's Department and the State Police uh, arrested one of our neighbors, so it was pretty close to home. If they see anything that's suspicious that could be a methamphetamine lab, like chemicals or any of the byproducts, we encourage them not to touch it or open containers or investigate any further on them their own, is to call the police. And now back in June, there were three meth lab arrests in one week. Again, if you see anything, be sure to call 911. Well, it's day six in the search for ex-con Robert Rule. On Monday, police told us they've shifted the focus of their investigation from Corning to Rule's hometown of Elmira. Rule is suspected of an armed assault in Southport two weeks ago. He was also charged with murder and convicted of manslaughter in 1994 when he was just 15 years old. Again, police consider this man armed and dangerous, so do not approach him. Just call 911. Well, President Barack Obama is making his way through parts of western and central New York as we speak. The president is on a bus tour from Buffalo to Syracuse. That means some travel delays on the way. Drivers should stay flexible and be prepared for road delays and maybe even closures on the New York State Thruway. The FAA has issued temporary flight restrictions over parts of central New York while the president takes his tour. The no-fly zone ranges from north of Syracuse to PA. President Obama will be at Binghamton University for a town hall meeting tomorrow. And now to Steuben County, check out the garden at the county jail. Now we first told you about the jail's inmate garden program about two months ago. Look at it now. 15 inmates at the jail now tend to the garden, growing tomatoes, cucumbers, potatoes, and other vegetables. Sheriff David Cole says it gives inmates something to do to occupy their time behind bars. And they're responding pretty well to the program. As the county pays a huge amount of money every month for psychotropic drugs, like $15,000 worth. I'm hoping that, that by getting them off the cots out here active, that will reduce those costs also. And Sheriff Cole says he plans to have over 100 beds by next year. Maybe a great time for gardening this weekend. Let's check it out. Meteorologist John Hickey standing by with the forecast. John. Yeah, absolutely. Looks like a couple of great days for gardening. Of course, the summer has been very kind to your plants. We've seen quite a bit of water, but also a fair deal of sunshine, too, which is pretty much ideal for all of your uh, plants that you have out there. Looking for some afternoon thunderstorms today. That'll provide a little water for the plant, but also we'll have to watch some of these storms. Not expecting severe weather, but of course, every thunderstorm carries that lightning danger. Of course, you want to be inside in a preferably a car or a house if a thunderstorm approaches. Now, it does look cooler for the weekend as this cold front comes through. Showers and storms ahead of it, cooler and drier behind it. But next week, we're tracking what looks to be numerous days of some thunderstorms as we'll kind of get trapped in a kind of a tough spot in the atmosphere where we'll see storms rolling in off of the Great Lakes. But for today, we're just tracking this cold front. This is 8 o'clock this morning here on Future Track. Dry out there this morning, just some patchy fog. But this afternoon, it's going to change. This is 6 o'clock here. Notice here comes your cold front with that line of scattered showers and storms. We're talking like a 40% chance that your backyard gets wet. And if I had to kind of try and pinpoint scattered storms, which is tricky business, it does look like southern tier and points to the north. Greatest chances, but it doesn't mean you stay completely dry in the southern or the northern tier, excuse me, by any stretch of the imagination. Get rid of those storms overnight. Start it off with some fog tomorrow. But tomorrow is so much cooler, drier temperatures tomorrow, upper 70s for highs. And then going into your day on Saturday, well, we'll start it off with your morning. That's looking pretty good. And of course, don't forget on Saturday morning, we do have that time to spare event going on at Spare Park uh, in Big Flats. Temperature for the race, race to start anyway, in the upper 50s, so nice and cool for all the racers, including myself, Scott Cook, and Laura Queso is going to be there too. Seven day forecast, rest of the weekend looking spectacular with sunshine. And as I mentioned, next week, humid with thunderstorms. That's your forecast. Here's Laura.
All right, thanks so much, John. And for the latest news, weather, and sports, be sure to watch WENY HD News at 536 and 11, also at our noon hour today with John and I. And don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Laura Queso. Have a great day.